Hello everyone, today I have a Elgus favorite for you guys today. I do not have a good quality camera right now, so my videos will be kind of scarce than normal because my phone does not get Wi-Fi anymore and I can't figure out how to get connected. Um, so if you guys have any online video recorders for a Windows computer that I can use, let me know down below and I will download them and try them out. But for now I'm stuck with this webcam recorder, so I hope you guys don't mind it too much. Um, so first I'm going to get started with the hair care, skin care kind of items, and move on to kid and then beauty, like makeup related. So first, I've been loving my Equate Beauty compared to Clarisol Cleanser. I've been breaking out so much lately, I don't know why, and this has been helping keep my breakouts at bay. And I love it. Like I use this when I have very bad breakouts in my face, and it works wonderful, gets them away, and this is only like $3, so I recommend it. Then I've been loving my Quate Nighttime Soothing Makeup Mover Towelettes. These are $5 to $4, I can't recall, on Walmart. And they smell so good, I recommend them. They're compared to the Neutrogena ones, so totally check them out. Another favorite I've, I've been loving is kind of a weird favorite, but it's summer. It's still hot here. It goes up to 90 to 100 where I live right now. And it's the Lady Speed Stick 24 7 wetless, Wetness and Odor Protection. And this is a gel, it's not a um, stick. Deodorant, those don't work for me. And I want to find a natural deodorant, but right now this is the only one I have. And I love it because it does work for a very long time before I need to apply it again. So if you guys need a good deodorant that isn't an arm and leg, this one's only $2 at Walmart. So to recommend checking that out. Next thing I've been loving is this Orby Beach Wave and Shine Spray. When I get out of the shower, I just spray some throughout my hair. And it just creates volume and wave on my hair. I did this when I showered last and it... This way my hair looks so amazing. It doesn't look amazing now because it's been a day, but it looked amazing and I love it. So, to recommend that. Another thing I'm loving is the Profile Pro Custom Hair Care Nourishing Oil. This stuff has saved my hair. See, I have flyaways right here. So, I just put a little bit right there. And it's clear, so it's kind of hard to see it. Nice just put it right here. And yeah, it just moisturizes my hair, makes the flyaways go away. It's just amazing product. I totally recommend it. Another product is this Amik Dry Shampoo. I have days where I don't have time to wash my hair for a big event. Like yesterday, I had an interview and I didn't have time to shower. I spray some my hair. Rub it in. And it just creates a nice dry surface to my hair. And yes, no polish should get on it because I know polish exploded when I was doing makeup yesterday. Another favorite is this uh, cleansing gel. Right here. It's so small, guys. And I've been using this off and on just a little bit to try it out. And I do like it. It smells kind of funny, but I actually do like it. So I'm going to give this more of a go, but I won't put this in here because it is pretty awesome if you have very dry skin. So I recommend checking that out. Another product I've been loving is my Equate Ultra Hydrating Beauty Lotion. I have very dry skin. This stuff keeps from getting super dry. It's the original formulation, 6 blue ounces. I think this was 5 bucks, And I recommend checking this out. It's cheaper than Olay. In our product I've been loving is my Suave Keratin Infusion Color Care Shampoo. I recently down my hair blue. You guys can't tell with the Suave Cam, but it's still blue. And this just keeps my hair color 100% still blue. I love this so much. It's amazing. And it smells so good. So I recommend checking this out of colored hair. And then I think that's it for the hair body stuff. 
Next favorite is this birthday's baby be shampoo and wash. My kids are allergic to pretty much everything in the like shampoo and body wash. We tried Avino, we tried um, Cetaphil, we tried Baby Magic, we tried Johns Johnson, we tried all those brands, Parent Choice, Target's brand, they break out. So this is awesome for them. They love it and it doesn't break them out, which I am happy for. So, and it smells good. But it's not like a perfume scented, but it doesn't smell like herbs and stuff like that, which I don't like. So, I to recommend this to our kids. Next favorite is these Newbie Munchkin Disney Cups. She has another one over here. We love these in this house. My youngest, who's almost a month, she actually grasps onto these and gets some drinks out of it, which I have to be careful because her sister drinks soy milk. So, I'm going to think about buying her a smaller one of these and try it out on her since she's been loving her sisters. So, if you have a young baby, I recommend trying these out because even my seven month old can drink out of them. So, it should be some months, August, September 1st, not August 1st. Next favorite for beauty is this Amazon concealer palette. They discontinued the one I got. So,. I don't know where I can find another one, but you just Google Amazon Concealer Palette and you find multiple ones, but I use this pretty often. I use the darker shades for bronzer, the lighter shades for highlight, the middle ground for everyday concealing, so I love this palette. Next favorite is my e.l.f. Powder Foundation and Transparent. This is amazing if you have very... Um, dry skin but you still need coverage and you don't want to wear too much makeup this is amazing next favorite is my foundation and primer this is one wild primer and cover all foundation this stuff's amazing I love this so I want more of a coverage but I don't want too much I love using these two products together they work wonders another favorite product of mine is the Sassy and Chic CC cream this is very pale, and I love mixing in foundations, but they're too dark for me, or if I just want very light coverage, like yesterday when I went to my interview, I just do this on primer, and it worked wonderful for my skin, and I love it. It's only a dollar. Next favorite is a expensive product, and this is the Benefit Eyebrow Pencil. Now, I don't really do my brows every day because they are pretty thick. I'm going to make one today so you guys can kind of tell that they are very thick. But this is amazing. I probably will use it more if I get the job because my eyebrows look 100% better all the time. But I got this as a sample in my birch box and I've been loving it. I try not to use it because it's a sample so I don't use it all up. So I'll let you guys know if I purchase full size or not. Next. Favorite is the W7 in the City palette, and I wear this yesterday. The so eyeshadow I'll show you in a second. These eyeshadows are so beautiful. I see the Urban Decay Naked palette. Um, I guess I've seen that. I'm pretty sure everyone has seen that palette, but I can't afford it. It's too much money for me to spend on myself. But this palette is pretty close to it, and I love the color. So I'll do a review on this palette on my channel another time. But I love it. Next is my mascara combination. This is what I've been doing when I wear makeup or if I don't wear too much makeup. I've been loving this. So first I put on the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. I'm so getting the full size of this. I love it. And then I put on the Volumizer by Sheetles. Got this off Amazon. Can you guys even see? Oh, wrong way. Not use this camera. Sheetles. And you can do side one and side two and you put it on. Because the, these two aren't waterproof, so I put a waterproof mascara on top. What I've been loving to do that with is the Colossal by Maybelline. These three mascaras together give me so awesome lashes. I totally recommend trying these three mascaras out if you have them. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying... I would recommend all these. But if you don't have very thick lashes, these will work perfect for you. Last favorite product, I think, well, not Sinani, nope, last favorite product, is this eyeshadow I got on my birch box. It looks like this. It's pretty. I wore, I wore this yesterday, and I love it. 
I don't know if you guys can see on this camera, but look at that. It's so gorgeous. And it's so hard to close the lid, though, so I kind of keep it halfway open. But so pretty. I totally recommend it. So that's my favorites for August. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I apologize for the quality in advance. It's not the best, but like I said, my phone does not get Wi-Fi right now. And I'm trying to figure out how to transport media off this into my computer or find a better webcam designer. So, if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.